YouTube land. And welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. Hi, I'm your host, Alex Payne, and today is another WWE Monday Night Raw reaction. Sorry, guys, I haven't been on in a while. And doing reactions like this, uh, it's just, I've been going through a lot of stuff right now, so bear with me if I'm like a little down or whatever tonight and not as hype as I usually am. So hopefully you enjoy the show. Let's get to it. So Roman Reigns comes out, and he's getting booed. Like, you know, he's like, we want Roman, we want Strowman, we want Roman, we want Strowman. So Roman Reigns comes out, they boo the shit out of him. Uh, he talks about, like, how last week, uh, Monday Night Raw, in the main event, when he was facing off against Samoa Joe, uh, and he, he's like, you might like this, and they booed him, and he waited a couple minutes, and he said he locked in the completed clutch, and I passed out. See? I told you guys might like it. So, <clears throat> um, so then he was talking about like how he's always been in all different kinds of stipulation matches and all kinds of matches, but he's never been in an ambulance match. And, uh, since Braun Strowman attacked him last week out of nowhere and it was being a coward that he accepts his challenge at Great Balls of Fire and he's going to beat him at Great Balls of Fire. Uh, and whatnot. So, it's like, okay, cool. And then an ambulance comes out. Roman comes down the rampway. Um, and whatnot. And, <clears throat> uh, he opens the door. And then Strowman, like, legit with ease, beats the shit out of Roman Reigns. Uh, throws him halfway onto the fucking, what's it called? The stage. And, um... <clears throat> Uh, gets up a couple Superman punches and he tries again. Strowman grabs him, throws him into the ambulance, throws him in the back of the ambulance and drives away. Uh, so there's that. And one of the matches that are happening tonight is going to be a six-man tag match. And it's going to be the loner uh, taking on, uh, teaming up with them is the club. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows versus the Hardy Boys, Jeff and Matt Hardy with Finn Balor. Let's see what happens. I apologize, guys. It's not Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson teaming with Samson. It is the Raw Tag Team Champions, Sheamus and Cesaro, versus Finn Balor and the Hardy Boys. So, the first match of the night is Cesaro, Sheamus, as the Raw Tag Team Champions, with Samson, Elijah and Samson, I can't say his name right, um, the Drifter, versus Finn Balor, and... Jeff and Matt Hardy, the Hardy Boys. So, Matt starts off, and he's against Sheamus. And they're in the ring, he does a tie-up, throws him off the ropes, shoulder block, knocks him down. And then, he goes ahead, uh, tags in Finn Balor, Finn Balor gets in, and then Elias Samson comes in, and they start beating each other up. They both, he knocks him, he gets, you know, gets him going, boom, 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 hits him, hits him, hits him, throws him off the top rope. Uh, Sheamus and Zero come in. Uh, so, the, the Hardy Boys knock them out of the ring, Finn Balor and Hardy Boys standing tall in the ring. Want the commercial break? See what happens. So we get back and Finn Balor is in the ring with Sheamus and no Matt Hardy is. I'm sorry. And they're just going at it. Matt's going at him, beating the crap out of Sheamus. Sheamus comes back, tags in. What's his name? Uh, Cesaro. Cesaro gets in. They, he starts doing his normal, you know, power moves and whatnot. And then Finn Balor gets in. Uh, Finn Balor gets in, starts dominating everybody, knocks everybody on grass. He's going to town, and then finally they start like you know they get on him and Samson like forearms him outside. Uh, while Sheamus does like the ten beats, and he's like, nope, don't want to give you the guys the satisfaction. <clears throat> so then uh, he finally gets over to Jeff. Jeff comes in, beats the crap out of Sheamus, uh, and he goes for the twist of fate. Uh, Sheamus reverses, uh, and then Sheamus beats up on. Jeff a little bit, uh, throws him to the outside, knees him in the face, one, two, and then he rolls out, uh, well, Jeff kicks out, and then he rolls out of the ring, and now we're at another commercial break. So we come back from commercial break once again, and Jeff is in the ring getting beat up, Sheamus comes in, starts beating him up a little bit, uh, uh who is it, Cesaro gets in, beats up on Jeff a little bit, runs over and kicks, uh, Finn Balor off, and then pretty much knocks off Matt. Uh, they beat up on Jeff a little bit. They do tags Sheamus in, does their tag team move. Th you're going to think it's over. One, two, 
kick out and and then um <clears throat> what is it let me think here and uh what not and then uh <clears throat> the dollar gets tagged in and legit just destroys everybody uh, throws Matt, uh, throws Cesaro over the top rope, then knocks, uh, then throws Cesaro, and then shit, Amos over the top rope, does like a swan tomlin over the top, uh, and then Samson gets knocked off the apron, throws him back in, Matt takes out Shamus with a twist of fate, and then Jeff takes out Samson with like a, you know, just diving at him, and whatnot, um, and then, after that, uh, Coup de Gras, one, two, three. Balor and the Hardy Boys win. Next up, R Truth, Gold Dust. Who cares? I apologize. I have no idea what happened with Gold Dust and R Truth. I uh, had to run off and do something real quick. Um, but I came back and Paul Heyman was talking about, I guess, Brock calling out Samoa Joe. And then Samoa Joe uh, pops up and does a completed clutch almost. And he's like, oh, that ain't for you. That ain't for you. It's okay, Polly. Client later on tonight. <laughs> it looked good. It looked good. Next up, Ms. TV. Special guest, some kind of family. Don't know. Don't care. Uh, so, Ms. does Ms. TV with BBB, Big Ballers brand, I'm, I'm assuming. And they're all having fun. Or it's calm and collective. And then Ms. is like, hey, why well, don't we, we make a BBM? He's like, no, 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 no. We're not here to do that. We already have three Bs, and that's all we're going to have. Um, oh, so they get in an argument, and it looks like they're fighting. Dean Ambrose comes out, and he says, hey, hey, guys, calm down, please. He comes out with the shirt, and whatnot. Uh, and there's a match going on. So, yeah, there we go. So, the match is Dean Ambrose. Uh, taking on The Miz. Bo Dallas. He's Slater. No, oh, he's Slater. Um, Curtis Axel. Versus Dean Ambrose, Heath Slater, and Rhino. So this match goes on, and Rhino's in the match, and you think Rhino would be beating the crap out of, um, what's his name? The Miz, but no, it's the other way around. Miz is beating the crap out of, um, what's it called? Um, uh, Rhino. So... This goes on for a bit. Tags in. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose comes in. House of Fire. Knocking everybody down. We try to go for dirty deeds. And then all of them get in. Knocking everybody out of the ring. And we're at a commercial break. So. We get back to the six man tag match. Uh, <clears throat> and whatnot. And Dean Ambrose got in a match. He was destroying everybody. Going crazy. A bulldog into a clothesline. Uh, and whatnot. And then. He Slater got in. He was kicking ass, doing great. In the end, he got destroyed. And The Miz distracted him. Bo Dallas hit, rolls him up. One, two, three. The Miz, Bo Dallas, and Curtis Axel wins the match. We go backstage. I'm kidding, not really. We see a little video that happened last week about, like, who attacked and so and Kaz. So, Corey Graves gets up. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, we knew all along, wasn't it, Big Kaz? He shows a clip. And, 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 and uh, Big Cass just does this to make us make sound like someone kicked him. He kicked something and he fell down uh, and whatnot. He said, yeah, I did it. Who cares? I'm tired of carrying your dead weight. I'm done with you. Blah, blah, blah. And then Enzo started crying. Uh, big boot. And then pretty much Big Cass walked away. Up next, Enzo Amore is coming out to the ring. Let's see what happens. So... And so Amore comes out, and he calls out Big Cass. Big Cass comes out, and he's like, man, I'm telling you. He's like, oh, last week, I, I get it, man. I get it. You, you were right about a lot of things. I, I, I do talk a lot. I do do this. He's like, but I want to talk to you brother to brother because you are my brother. That's what this is. He's like, it's a bond. I could care less about the WWE right now. I like, I want you back. We have not even, like, reached our potential. We need excuse me, to win the WWE Tag Team Championships. Pretty much he's saying before, like, we do the split-up thing. And, it, see, and then into, uh, and then Big Cass is like, man, I am sorry. Oh, my God. Like, I felt so bad after I did all that stuff and said all that stuff to you. But uh, he's like, yeah, why not? Let's do this. 
So then, uh, you know, he's like, and if anybody had any doubts about us breaking up, there's only one word to describe you, and I'm gonna spell it out for you. S-A-W-F-T. Soft. I know that's not how you spell it, but hey, it's a gimmick, so there we go. Um, so then they go up the rampway, they're holding hands, and Big Cass is like, yeah, and then clotheslines Enzo Amore, and he's like, oh, you want up? You guys want up so bad? Huh, huh? Picks him up, bench press. Throws him down the ramp point. He's like, Psh, get out of here. Up next, Seth Rollins. Talks about WWE 2K18, the video game. Let's do this. My bad. He wasn't talking about the game. He had a match against Kurt Hawkins. And Kurt Hawkins was beating the crap out of uh, Seth Rollins for a while. He dominated for a little bit. And then Seth came back, did a suicide dive, did a couple moves, did the flying knee, one, two, three. Seth Rollins wins. Then he, um, what is it? Seth, uh, Bray Wyatt comes up and he's talking about how he's leading people to obscurity and blindly whatever. Um, and whatnot. So, <laughs> and he's talking about a great balls of fire that... If he does not find himself, he is going to burn forever. Yeah. And uh, there is a women's gauntlet match tonight to figure out the number one contendership for the the Raw Women's Championship. So Paul Heyman is out there doing his advocate talking stuff that he normally does. And he's saying that Samoa Joe is a coward and that he knew that once he punched, sucker punched, uh, Brock Lesnar, that he knew somebody was going to come out and save him. He knew that somebody was coming out to help him out. So, like, they're in and whatnot. And he said when the guys were holding him back, and um, he legit, you know, <clears throat> I have to put this legit. I was holding, you know, Brock back. He would big boot him for the second time. And then he would, you know, run away. So he's like, without further ado, Brock Lesnar wants to call you out tonight to a fight. And he, Brock Lesnar comes out. Samoa Joe attacks him from behind, puts him to Coquita Clutch. And for comments, and Brock's face goes from a white to a pink and whatnot. And he's he slams Joe into the, the Titan Tron like three times. And the third time, Joe gets it back in. Brock's about to pass out. Some people, here comes a referee, well, some wrestlers and stuff like some often refs and stuff like away. And Brock's on the ground going, holy shit, what the fuck just happened? So Brock just got laid the fuck out pretty much. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There's that. What else is going to happen tonight? So there's a cruiserweight match. And it was the cruiserweight champion Neville, the king of the cruiserweights, taking on some, uh, some guys as owl or some, I don't know his name. But uh, the match went back and forth. Typical cruiserweight match. Uh, in the end, Neville walked in, reigned to Saturn, tapped out, and then... Uh, the newest member of Titus O'Neil's uh, Titus brand, uh, Cezao, Cezao, I can't say them. The guy's, ah, ah, him. He gets a Cruiserweight Championship at Great Balls of Fire. There we go. Emma just came in and picked the number for the Women's Championship Gauntlet match. And I believe it's Emma, Mickey James, Dana Brooke, Bailey. Nia Jax. I believe that's all. I believe that's all of them. And it might be another person, but they're all drawing numbers and stuff like that for the gauntlet match. And whoever wins this match, which I'm assuming right now it's going to be the main event, gets a championship match against Alexa Bliss. So the first two people that were out in the ring in the women's gauntlet match was Nia Jax and Bailey. Uh, Nia Jax was dominating against Bailey. Uh, close lines. <clears throat> you know, scoop slams. Uh, Bailey finally comes off the top rope with a leg drop like John Cena. One, two, powerful kick out. Bailey starts working on the legs, working on the legs. Nia throws her off <clears throat> and whatnot. Throws her off the ropes. The ropes? I mean, the ropes. Samoa drop. One, two, three. Bailey is eliminated. Now, the next person to come out is Mickey James. Commercial break. So, Mickey James is like trying her best to beat the shit out of 
<clears throat> you know, Nia Jax. Nia Jax just comes back out of nowhere, right? And she's just beating her up, beating her up, beating her up. And Mick goes for the Mick kick. And tries to go for her DDT, throws her off. Nope. Runs right through her. One, two, three. Mickey James is eliminated. Dana Brooke comes out. Then what happens is Dana comes in there like going crazy. Boom, 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 right? And then she like she gets drop kicked. Not drop kicked, but like leg dropped. One, two, three, Dana Brooke is eliminated. Next person out, Emma. So Emma like tries to get in, slides out, and goes, Oh no, 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 I'm not doing this shit. Then Dana and then uh <clears throat> Nia Jax picks her up, puts her in the ring, she get, like, beats her up a little bit, right, you know, Emma does, and then Emma just gets a Samoa drop, one, two, three, she's eliminated, a last person that is out there right now, the boss, Sasha Banks, taking on Nia Jax, whoever wins this match becomes number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship, Let's see what happens. So, Sasha Banks is the person out there. She comes out a house of fire, kicks to the legs, punches, 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 kicks to the face, uh, throws her, somehow gets Nia Jax out of the ring, does some moves to her out there, double knees, gets back in the ring, and she's like, count her out, count her out. Commercial break. So we go back from commercial break, and Nia Jax is still dominating against, like, legit, the boss, Sasha Banks. Just beating her up, clotheslines, hip tosses, throwing her in the corner, power moves. Uh, and then she throws her to the outside and she lands on her knee the wrong way uh, Sasha Banks does. So then Nia starts working on her legs. And then Nia hits her Samoa drop. She And then uh, Sasha Banks rolls out of the ring. Sasha comes in, starts beating her up a little bit, gets her into the um, bank statement three times. The third time she's got her in this awkward position, it's like a chicken wing bank statement. And she's fading, she's fading, she's fading. She wakes up, she's like, no, nah, no. Nah. And the next thing you know, you see Nia Jax tap out your winner and new number one contender for the WWE Raw Women's Championship, the boss, Sasha Banks. So then Kurt Angle comes out, clapping his hands, you know, good job, raise your hand a couple times. Then your Raw Women's Champion comes out, Alexa Bliss, gets in the ring, just looks at her, and she's like, what are you going to do? Me, 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 holds the title up in her face, and you know what? So Sasha's like, you know what? Fuck you. <clears throat> Dropped kicks her, takes the title, and says, this is going to be mom in two weeks, pretty much, and then he throws the title away. That's how Raw ended. <clears throat> so what was your guys' thoughts on Raw? Did you like it? Did you think it was shit? Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave it in the comments below. And I'd like to say hello to all the new subscribers out there, and welcome to the Chaos Asylum. So, like I always say, share this video, leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you haven't done it already, <sighs> smash that subscribe button. Later.